Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little card. This is another one from my swaps, so I hope you guys are enjoying them so far. So I'm taking a 6x4 inch card, two of my circle nesting dies, one which measures 3 inches, and another one which is just 2.5 inches, that I am showing you. Um, I don't know why I showed you, but there you go. So it is just literally like a centimetre short. I went three inch, but um, the reason I need that is because I just need the outer circle. And then I'm taking the adorable elephants from my favourite things. And what I'm doing is I'm going to do some heat embossing. So I'm taking some Distress ink, um, which is the embossing ink, the three butterflies from the stamp set, and the Tailored Expressions Fine White Embossing Powder. I'm now just prepping my card by using an anti-static power tool and I don't show you the entire thing because it's just me repeating the process but I need to buy a bigger embossing ink pad but I just don't do that much heat embossing so the small one works for me. So I do this a few times and then I come in with it singular sometimes just to fill in the gaps and stuff. So this is just basically doing it to your own personal preference, what looks good to your eyes. Um, this isn't my original idea guys. Um, the idea, I, f I found this idea off another girl on YouTube. Um, so I will link her video in my description. So it's a huge thank you. So as you can see, I'm just taking my white embossing powder and I'm going to heat set that. So once I've finished with my powder, I make sure I pour it all back in. Just using a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to heat set that like I said I use um the heat tool which I got from Hobbycraft which is a store in the UK and I will link it in the description so here is it once I've heat embossed so I'm going to set that aside just so it can cool down a little bit first and I'm going to stamp my images so I'm taking just one of the elephants and a butterfly using my tuxedo black ink and then I'm going to colour them in with pro markers and then I go on to ink blending so I'm not going to talk through that process I'm just going to insert some music here um, but if you want you can just skip past it all but I hope you guys do not do that and just enjoy it because I definitely enjoyed this for a time because I'm still learning with the ink blending process and a couple of weeks ago I just did my first two combination colours so this one was four so I really hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and I'll see you in a little bit.
So I finished it blending and colouring and fussy cutting. I am now just taking a piece of the scar the scar <laughs> the scrap card. Um and I'm just taking my ruler um and I want an inch for each side, so that's the reason I'm doing this. Guys, I really do struggle drawing a straight line, so I hope you do like do better than me. Um I also need to buy a guillotine which I'm hoping somebody's gonna buy me for my birthday. So hopefully you'll see that on my video soon. Um, so i just drawn an inch from either side. So it's like this and I'm going to cut down them. So this is what it'll look like. I'm just going to take some double sided tape. Um, you could take a tape runner or glue, it's just up to you. Um, double sided tape is just my easiest option because my my tape runners aren't the best. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite tape runner is because I just cannot find one that is great for me. I found one, but unfortunately it's like really small so I just, by the time you've like, if I did this with that tape runner it would be empty. So it just, you know, isn't very great. So, and this is the first for me. I've never really showed you me doing double sided tape before. So yeah. <laughs> and then I realised, like, why am I still filming? <laughs> so, I then take off all the backings. I'm just using my stamp platform to line this up, and I still think it was a bit wonky. So, me and straight lines just don't work. Maybe I should start doing diagonals and stuff like that. But that's the background. I think it just draws you into the center of the card. So I'm now taking the two circles, and this is what I meant by I just need the outer stitch circle. So that's why I've done that close together. But I do now need the bigger circle, because I'm going to cut that out of vellum. And that just makes my image stand out on this colorful background. So I'm taking my multi matte medium glue to adhere this. Again, you can use whatever you want. Um, a little tip that I learned is to use a piece of scrap paper or card to press down your image um, because it just gets rid of all that excess glue that you don't necessarily need and I'm just going to place the vellum over the top so there you go I'm not really a big fan of vellum but for this one I thought you know it definitely looks a lot better with it so here you go, so that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to add my elephant, I'm just working out the placement. So I take some 3D adhesive squares as well as the multi matte medium glue and I'm running out of my multi matte medium. So, but there we go. So that's my image and I just think this is totally adorable. I actually like this card so much that I made a thank you card which I am going to be redoing because I needed to make another one for a family friend who bought my mom's embroidery machine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the exact same thing um, but just film it because I did just reach 900 followers on Instagram and I'm going to be doing a giveaway over there so yeah so I'm taking Mama Elephant's birthday messages and I'm taking the cutie pie I didn't film it because I thought it wouldn't work so I just used my embossing ink again and the bright metal silver to stamp this onto some vellum. I'm taking my matte medium again and using my finger to apply the glue which didn't really work because it didn't have that much on it but eventually I got that figured out. So the reason why I like this card is because like one it is definitely low compact it's not bulky or anything so I am going to be posting this to the girl and she lives in Iceland so you know it needs to be able to travel well which is why I try and make sure all my cards if they do have to mention that it's not too much which is probably why most of you won't receive like a shaker card if you live in the US or something because it's just with the traveling and I'm also taking some neat and tangled sequins here and this is the frosted pine set and if you guys want these, I recommend you buy them, like, soon. Um, I think, actually, they might be out of circulation when this video goes up. But I do think people will sell them elsewhere, or if the store still 
has stock left. Um, but Neat and Tangled are going out of business. Um, I don't actually know why. They just decided to discontinue it. So, I don't know. Maybe something's up. I don't know. But one thing I didn't film um, was adding Wink of Stella to the circle, the stitching on the outside. So, I did do that, guys. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, I definitely love how this card turned out. So, yeah, I will see you in my next video, guys. I hope you are well and staying safe. Make sure you are following me on my Instagram. Because, like I said, I am going to be doing giveaways now for every milestone that I reach. Um, so, to be in a chance, you have to be following me on my Instagram. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Um, I don't know what video that's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be another swap or is it just going to be something random. Um, if you guys want to see anything and you've been looking on YouTube and you can't find anything, let me know down in the comments because I'd be happy to do it. So, I will see you in my next video guys and I hope you are all having fun crafting. Bye guys.